Just put your hand out, put your finger on that knob, you know what it is. That didn't sound very good. Hello viewers, like, comment, subscribe, I've done that already, and welcome to, well, we're going to call it Ham and Eggs. Yes. Because there's me and then there's eggs. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. It's yeah. Now, uh, a bit of background. Uh, Hammond and I, we've had breakfast in many places together, all over the world, hotels, campsites, each other's we were houses. Working. Yeah, we were working. Um, and something has emerged, which is that Richard Hammond is extremely fussy about his poached eggs. They have to be absolutely spot on. No, I'm fussy because nobody ever does them right. Until now. Go on, then. So, I'm going to make Richard Hammond poached eggs on toast, one of the simplest breakfasts known to humankind. If I get it wrong, he is entitled to stab me to death with the instrument of his choice from this mobile cooking trolley thing. You're going to get it wrong because you're doing it wrong from the start. Well, I knew you would say that. Using this that. is an antique. It belonged, I believe, it certainly belonged to my mother, maybe her mother before her. And I think, strictly speaking, you'd have to say this is an egg. Sorry about that. There's just murder going on outside. Uh, this is an egg coddler, possibly, rather than a poacher. Oh, poached eggs. But, the, but you're going to like them because they come out looking like the breasts on Botticelli's Venus. So you put a little bit of Lurpak spreadable butter, invented in 1901, in each of those. Turn the power on in the bug out bunker electric hob. Just let that melt for a bit. We need to consider the ingredients, excuse me, which are down here. You know your bunker? Yeah. It's all I know it's awful, but it's, that, it, this is what the nuclear holocaust is going to be like. That hob yes. is the most depressing thing I've seen I know. in some time. That speaks to me of bedsits I've is, lived oh, in, where this would have been my everything, yes. along with a television that you tuned with a knob. Yes. Well, obviously Rather there was a knob. Rather than tuning it to watch a knob. You beat me to the joke. I Thank was going to say, obviously, you were yes, tuning your yes, television yes, with a knob. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is the first time the Bug Out Bunker miniature cooker has been used as a toaster. I'm slipping into the mode we slip into when we're having breakfast together when we're away shooting and I'm already bored of you. I'm just saying. Honestly, we come downstairs, we meet in reception and then we all go for breakfast and that might be, oh, sometimes early. It's clock. <laughs> sometimes even earlier. And by then, you're already annoying. No offence, chap, but... No, it's fine, don't worry. It's mildly oh, this irritating. Is, this is melting. Okay. Now, I'm going to do something else that annoys you, I suspect. Certainly annoys a lot of other people. The eggs. Obviously, these are modern eggs. Um, they've come out of a modern chicken, and they're probably perfectly okay. But because my mother does this, I do it as well. I always break them first into something like a teacup or a glass, just to make sure they're okay, which a that one is. container, it doesn't matter whether it's a teacup or a glass. Well, I've done it in a glass so that you can see it. glove or a shoe. Look, that egg is okay, it's not broken, there's no chicken in it, and it doesn't have any bogeys, bits of shell, or anything like that. That's not quite up to temperature yet. I may have put the toast on too soon. Oh, this is dismal, this thing, isn't it? Max. Breakfast is supposedly the most important meal of the day, I don't believe that. However, supposedly it is, and we've shared so many together that um, not that long ago we were having another breakfast and I was innocently going about my business spreading my marmite on my toast in the fashion I always do. And from behind me there came this furious shrieking noise and the otherwise mild-mannered James May had erupted into volcanic anger, came tearing over screaming, I hate the way you do that! What? What? The way you get the knife, and when I've spread the marmite on the toast, I slip the knife into the crust of the toast like that to wipe the knife, it gets the marmite off. And he went apps, and at that point I knew we'd spent too long working together because the man went crazy at the way I prepare my breakfast. I've watched that for 20 years, and I've kept it to myself. I've kept it bottled up like a mm -hmm. bad memory mm -hmm. from a war I fought in, and then one day it just became too much. It's the way he did it, he does the, he's, he's a little bit sort of, Fay about is accurate. You know, people say this about me, but it seems is accurate to the edges, and just then he because just because you're a slapdash, long-haired mm, yobbo, mm, and I like to make sure the marmite is evenly spread, covers every bit of the toast equally, and then wipe the knife. Why not and just wipe it on the edge of the toast? Because it's more effective if you slip it into the crust like that, and then it comes out. No, it's but like when a, you it's put like it back out, the marmite cream. goes back on the knife. Because it's at the edge of the slot. Got a marmite? Got any toast? Yes, I'll prove it. Well, there's toast coming up in about three hours. I honestly think I should be cooking some eggs. That is now a boiler thing. This is excellent. So the first egg goes into the first poaching cup or coddling cup or whatever we're going to call it. We can have an argument about that in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Here comes the second one. Quick as you look, bollocks. Quick as you like because otherwise they won't do at the same time. 
Now, the real skill to using one of these things, if indeed there is any skill to using it, is management of the lid. Because obviously with the lid on, steam comes up through the holes and goes onto the top of the eggs. With the lid off, they simply cook from underneath through the heat in the little plastic cup thing. Okay, eggs going. I'll now turn up the temperature of the toaster. This, I've tested this toaster actually this morning. Do you morning. this regularly? Why? Carry on. Who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. There's nobody else here. Uh, so here are your not poached eggs. Will you let me poach an egg for you when you're no good? Yes, absolutely. These will be good though. I've done this many times. I can do mine at the same time right. and then we can see which is better side by side. Okay, but we'll crash into each other. No, we won't. I could just put a pot on there and some boiling water out of that kettle and I can do one properly. Right. 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 There's a pot. Pop it on. Max. <laughs> just straight to Max. Pop. Pop, pop it on. It on. It's like people pop things in the poem, pop it in the oven. While James May <laughs> isn't poaching his poached eggs, allow me to tell you how to poach an egg. That's about enough water because that's all the water we've got. I'm going to raise that to boiling, and whilst it's doing that, I'm going to add some salt. Have you got any in here? Yes. Where? Uh, here. Thank you. I'm going to add salt because that's what you do when you cook it. If you want to jump in, Cameron, have a look at what's happening in the egg poacher stroke coddler. A little bit of whiteness. There's, it's just appearing. some air sitting in some plastic cups, James. Have you got any vinegar in it? Yes. Malt vinegar. Thank you. You need to put this in because it helps hold the egg together because mine is going to be free. It's not going to be contained in anything. It's Yours just is going to taste free. the vinegar. That's the problem with no, this well, method. I know what you're no, going to do. Isn't. Well, I'm going to poach the eggs is what I'm going to do. What have you got in here? I need to... Would you like some fried spam with this? No. Have you got spoon, eggs? A what? Eggs. Yes, yeah, so eggs, 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 eggs are in the magic drawer from where all ingredients appear on this channel. There you are, eggs. Right. I'm going to raise it. Do you have the lid to this saucepan? Is it that one? Yes. Yes, there you go. Right, whilst your monstrosities are slowly rotting in their plastic cups, I'm going to raise this to boiling, assuming that your frankly poxy little hob has the puff to do that. That does remind me of a bedsit I lived in yeah, in Carlisle once. Yeah, that, I had one room with a plastic leather effect sofa that turned into a bed in the evening. So I'd sit, on my, and I was working split shifts at BBC Radio Carlisle. So I'd get home at about two in the morning, I'd sit on the sofa for a bit, watching a television you tune with a knob and it was only black and white. And then I'd go like, ah, that meant I was in bed. And then I'd get up and go to work. Yeah, I had one of those, but I never used it. Let me ask you this. OK, imagine you'd been brought into this bug-out bunker blindfolded, led into this kitchen. Have and you done that to people? No, no, but just put your hand out, put your finger on that knob, you know what it is. That didn't sound very good, but, no, <laughs> if I've been, but do it. If just I've put been your brought blindfolded into your bunker and somebody said, put your finger on that knob and you know what it is. But the, the feel of that, those little, I don't know what you'd call those, the sticky-out bits that help you grip it, that just says sort of 1970s, I mean this isn't from the 1970s, it's just an old design, but that says 1970s vintage, miserable cooking experience. I mean, that's something that's wrong with you or just something that's lacking. What? Sense. Look at this. These are beginning to, Spot. whatever you call it, coddle. The toast, I, I'm, I'm going to admit that the toast, I know you don't like your toast as overdone as I do, that's nicely crisp. It's black, it's burnt. It's not black, it's burnt, dark, it's golden. Burnt. I put the toast on a bit too early, but it doesn't matter because with the, with the micro cooker, I can simply keep the toast warm and dry. Micro cooker. Micro cooker, I call it, because it's like a cooker, but <coughs> smaller. That's one of them posh brands that, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, they make their toasters cost hundreds. Oh yeah, oh sorry, Julia, yes, no, they do. Their toasters cost a, a huge amount of money. This didn't, this was 120 pounds. It's a bit flashy for you, little underground bunker kitchen. Have you put the vinegar in? This is mine! Do you want a wooden spoon? I don't want you to, no, I don't want you involved in any way. Okay. What are you going to do when yours are ready whilst yours are still cooking? You'll have to eat and make poached eggs simultaneously. It's going to time out perfectly because we'll take the slop out of those pots, we'll try them, they won't be any good, by which point mine will be done, and uh, we'll eat those. So you like them to be just runny in the middle but beginning to go hard around the edge of okay. the yolk, we, don't you? We're getting into the the science and the finely nuanced features of it. Yes, all the albumin, <laughs> that's the word, should, should be cooked. All of it. I don't have any runny snotty bits on it, that's 
I and have then, got quite a bad cold, so if you do find the bogey bit, it is bogey. Thank you. Then the yolk should be just firming up on the outside of it, and then knife goes in and, and just lovely sunny golden yellowness pours out and makes you smile. Good, well, that's what you'll get. I'm not going to get anything out of mine with this poxy. I've got to be honest, this only really works properly about one time in three. This thing is ex actually quite difficult to use. It's got two knobs. And two no, no, knobs. not the cooker, the, the, the egg poaching Well, no, device. I don't use them. The sort of thing you have when you move house and it goes in the skip. I've actually got two. You have two egg ruiners. If you're still with us, God knows why you would be. Um, we are demonstrating how to properly poach an egg. James has in this, I'm going to call it a competition, aside from burning the toast, um, elected to use a device that doesn't poach eggs, it simply lets them stew in two plastic cups. I am going to be poaching an egg in the proper fashion, free range, just swimming around in this pan to preserve all the eggy goodness. That's I imagine some of this is going to be speeded up. <laughs> you could have made yourself something proper by now. I'm actually Wait quite looking minute. forward to post eggs on toast. Not yours, because yours is going to taste of vinegar. Oh, yes. Do you have a large spoon for getting my eggs out? Uh, no, not in there. Those, those are quite good for getting things They're out. They're not slatted? No. Will it just be full of water? Do we have a slotty spoon? I only need two things. A saucepan and a slotted spoon. Could you use a colander? No, I'll just use the normal spoon. You could, I don't know, just get your own bug out bunker kitchen for the post zombie apocalypse. Just a thought. Right. My water's boiling. What I'm going to do now is remove it from that heat. Can I put it on this wooden thing? It won't burn. No, I'm going to need that now. Well, you can't have it. And then I'm going to stir the water. This is key. Stir the water quite vigorously so that it is all moving because that will give me the shape of my beautifully poached egg. Oops, sorry. I've disrupted it. Crack egg into middle of whirlpool. And I am actually being even more risky in doing two at once, which is slightly high risk, but I've done up to four like this. Where did you get these eggs? Are the same as all weight rooms, can't it, remember. It makes a huge difference. If they come straight from chickens, as in at home we have them straight from chickens, they are the yellowest yellow you've ever seen. Honestly, you slice it and lit sunlight comes out and it reflects off the ceiling in the morning. I've never heard happy. this sort of thing before from people who have their own chickens and have their own eggs for breakfast in the morning. Oh, fresh eggs are so much more marvellous. Did you know they actually take slightly longer to cook? They do take longer to cook. I know. Mine are not going to be pretty. But I don't care. They look, like, they look like something from the deep. Good. Officially, it's about eight minutes you should leave these to sit. And then you can leave them off the heat entirely. So just to recap, boil the water. Once it's boiling, take it off the heat, spin them around, spin the water around, crack the eggs directly into it, then gather around and form a roughly joined up shape. Put them back on the heat, but at a lower heat, just to get it not even to a rolling boil, just to be look, little tiny bubbles, it's simmering. You can actually stand them off the heat entirely for about eight minutes. The joy of this technique is I can see them and see how they're cooking. Something very odd here. What? But these eggs seem stickier than normal eggs, or maybe Lurpak spreadable isn't very good for the big poaching device. Hey, yeah. what about the toast for mine? I'm going to put that in in a minute, so I'm just oh. concentrating on, on, on your breakfast. <laughs> Tuck in. Oh, I need a verdict. I need to know whether I go home happily or with a knife stuck in my throat. I have scraped more appetising looking things off on a boot scraper. Just try it, man. Try it. Right, your toast going in, so you're responsible yep. for how toasted that toast is. Which one's is. yours, which one's mine? Or They're both yours. Okay, if you don't right. like them, I'll eat them. So, because. this is egg number one. That, that white is not sufficiently cooked. It is, it's firm. Oh no, look! All that white that's not cooked around there. That's, not, that's, perfectly that's cooked. not cooked. That white is. That is perfectly that. The that's edge of the yellow snotty. is just no, starting just to go. It's snotty firm. nonsense. Have a, egg number two is slightly more cooked. No, again, all that, all that white isn't cooked. Look at that. It's perfectly cooked. That, that is, is a perfect that, poached that's egg. That's just slop. It's so far oh, from I love being those. Perfect. The kitchen is now yours. You have control. Okay. I'm going to turn this down and I'm going to have the first of several looks at mine to see how they're doing. This is the joy of cooking them this way. You can assess. Ooh. Actually, 
I'm going to take mine out in about a minute. James, my toast won't be done because you didn't put it on early enough. Well, I'm not responsible for your toast. Yeah, but you, you deliberately sabotaged my meal. I need a plate. Mm-mm. I need a plate. You just say mm-mm mm -mm because you cooked it. That's mm -mm. the problem with cookery shows. Mmm, that's really nice because I cooked it. No one ever goes... I might have to just put my eggs on the plate because the toast isn't done. The programme is about... Oh, bit, get me a big plate there. It is, it's about poached eggs, it's not about toast. The advantage of doing it my way is I can have a look and I think... God, these are crap eggs. Can I borrow a piece of toast? You haven't thought this through! What do you want? A piece of toast? Toast. But I, I'm going to have... My eggs are going to spoil because I'm waiting for the toast. They've floated up to the top and they are good to go. And they are... They're going to be overcooked in a minute. I'm going to take them out. Pretend this is toast. Right, Thank you. I'm going to put both of mine on one piece of toast. Egg number one coming at you now. Egg number mm -hmm. two also coming at you now. And you will find that that... There. Overdone. No, it's not. There's a crispy bit of yolk around the edge. All the album is cooked. Look at that. No, the edge is... No, that's far too overdone. It's not. Yeah, no. it is. You've got too much stiff that's yolk. That's not overdone. That's absolutely perfect. Let me taste Runny that. yolk, crusty yolk, all the album is cooked. And they're, they adopted whatever shape they chose to adopt. They weren't... Yours are basically battery poached eggs because they were forced to adopt this shape. Mine took whatever form they desired. They are natural. But they taste of vinegar. They, they do taste slightly of vinegar. I don't they like don't that. taste of vinegar. You haven't tried them. I know they don't taste of vinegar because I have these. Mm. Oh, look at that eggy wonder. Overdone. Not overdone. I mean, I did, it's fractionally overdone because mm -hmm. I didn't have any mm -hmm. toast available, but I can... I like them like this. My way of doing it, you can see how well done they are or aren't. Well, you can see that with my method, which is why mine are done perfectly. They're underdone. They're not underdone, they're exactly right. They're just beginning to firm up, and they're full of eggy goodness. If you have an opinion on this, you can comment and let us know. If you don't have an opinion on this, believe me, it won't be held against you. Who's the best? Mine. Mine. If you are a hotelier, and Richard Hammond comes to stay with you, and he will eventually, and he asks for poached eggs for breakfast, remember, just say no. The number of hotels he's torched as a result of his eggs not being right. I haven't done that See? in years. I think we have done you that. You did but... make me overdo that because you did. If yeah. I had toast, they would have been bang on. Yeah, but I'm not, you can't hold me responsible for your I'm toast. Can't. Mine are better. I don't have poached eggs. <laughs> right, we've done that. We can have a look at your car properly now. Mm -hmm. Do you want a bit, Lucy? 